Hello again. <laughs> so um, this topic is about um, we call it Reflectbit Map, a uh, Magento export platform. And um, yeah, this is the name from the, the project. And the project is open source. So if you have ideas, or yeah, make some pull requests on GitHub maybe next week. So uh, yeah. So okay, I, I'm Damien, you know, <laughs> 10 minutes ago, but yeah, I know, yeah, yeah you, all, you have a hangout, I know, okay, I'm Damien, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> what's, the, what's the problem? Okay, the problem was um, from the company Flagbit, yes, cus customers, and uh, not the problem with the customers, but the customer has a problem <laughs> with get the products uh, to to Google Merchant, uh, to export this right fields in the right uh, uh, range and the prices, ones with dots, my whatever. And this is a problem we hope to um, resolve with MAP. Okay, in Germany, we have some, um, some companies to, uh, to m make money with this. So um, one of them is uh, Günstiger. I know in, in Poland, I'd, I cannot write Polish. I can only understand and a little bit read. So I don't Google in Poland, but I, s I think you have uh, similar sites here in Poland to compare prices on the one product. And you have more portals. So in, in Germany, I think we have four or five portals. And every portal or every company for this needs uh, other export fields. Um, yeah, and it's uh, really um, the MS. And the idea was. Okay, so the idea was <laughs> the idea was uh, before uh, uh, to use uh, you know data flow. <laughs> Everyone use here data flow, data flow in Magento. What's fast, right? <laughs> and good. And I don't know why why Magento don't uh, make some backpicks around this. But uh, yeah, the customer has a data flow export and the company um, built a project on uh, data flow. Um, it's not topically relevant, but um, yeah, he has problems to, to get uh, new features inside because data flow is, yeah, it's old and ugly and whatever. And um, yeah, science, I think 1.5 is a new shiny star in Magento, the import, uh, import export model. And it's really fast. And uh, in this topic, we use only the export thing. One mention is, uh, I doesn't know this, when you export something with uh, Magento import export, and you try to import, it's failed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a win-win situation, right? <laughs> so because uh, when you export, you have some data like a website ID, something like your uh, attribute IDs and, and uh, attribute names. And when you think about it to, ah, migration is totally easy in Magento. I have the import export model. I export the data and have a new shop and import the data. No, this is not import export. <laughs> okay, so normally uh, if, if you're a customer with some fields, uh, small products, Everything is great, yeah. You you pick up the products, the attributes, put in the CSV file or XML, whatever, and it works, right? It's, it's, a small flower comes, and every everything is good. The customer grows up, it's shiny, <laughs> grows up and have now this <laughs> many attributes, <laughs> many product data, and three product manager. <laughs> 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 and you have the mess. <laughs> so it's not so shiny. You pick up one product by one. It's, uh, you need three or four hours to export, uh, export this stuff for one, one company. And uh, yeah, you need a solution, right? So <laughs> my brain <laughs> and the other foreign companies has a little bigger one. Uh, thinking about the problem, right? Because the history is data flow, paste export based on data flow, and one short idea was, okay, uh, we use the imports export model, and yeah, we, we make it, we, we use it. But, oh no, but, 
Great. Yeah, this was a PS export. Um, it was some um, additional stuff to, to give a value delimiter, uh, interval cron jobs uh, they needed for, for the Google or whatever. So PS export, is, this is data flow based. So in the, uh, the PS export, the old one, not map, use like uh, field mapping. It's really cool because you, you need the field description and yeah, and as a, a Google need only desk or short description or whatever, so you can map fields uh, and make a format. Format is uh, yeah, use um, sprintf field, so you can uh, the prices like with a dot or euro or whatever you can you can format this price. And uh, he has export filters because uh, no more, normally in, uh, ex, um, yeah, export is for uh, all data, so it has the whole data. But maybe you will only push uh, or, or go to Amazon and uh, store only one category, your, your TVs or your computers. So you need to, to uh, have a filter. So this was uh, the old idea to make it with data flow. And yeah, I, as I mentioned, the, the, the export needs more time and it's failed and it's a little bit the problem because yeah, and we have <laughs> put this one, the data flow, put away and use import export, right? It's a little bit faster. So in the normal, only you have <laughs> few settings in import export. This one, the entity type, and you can uh, yeah choose the, the format. But I think it's only one adopter inside that sees that sees file. Uh, entity type is product, and I think uh, sorry, customers. customers. Right. So and that's all. You click on product and get this one, and that's all. You cannot. More nothing. You can on the right side. You can a little bit filter. It work nice, but uh, yeah, the field mapping completely. Yeah, we need field mapping, so it's not included. And we yeah, we think about it how to make it. And I say, okay, import export model is newer. The code is great because yeah, it's work. It's it's fast. So I put yeah, we put something together, and I see this. Um, I'm the product owner, I, I make the map, so the code is, the ugly code is from me. And I see um, in the entity, you have some code, ah, it's, it's bad for you, right? Yeah, bad to read. But um, I found, I, I need a hook, right? Uh, every uh, programmer or developer uh, needs a hook to, to get inside, to uh, find the best and smartest solution. So and rewrites are bad, you search for, for observer, events, whatever. But um, yeah, I, first I look how, how it works export. And yeah, uh, import export model has one function, or oh, more functions, but uh, the important one, the main one is export. <laughs> the problem on this um, function is, <laughs> has 450 lines of code. Nothing more, you have, you, you need to scroll, it's, it's, it's Okay, I, I told mess. <laughs> but uh, you cannot hook in there, you cannot put something uh, other in, uh, in the stuff, so uh, we need to find another solution. And uh, we, we make another entity. So the solution was to make another entity. So we have now, in, uh, when you install a map on your, on your Magento installation, you have a product, customers, and product map. It's a <laughs> but this is the uh, um, yeah, cleanest Thing, uh, would think to, to not interrupt the normal import-export function when you need it. And um, yeah, this is a, a good thing. Yeah, okay, 400, that's good. So now, um, okay. So this is map uh, profiles. You can make for every company a profile. You can give a name, you can disable, enable it. So this is, is nothing special on this. But especially, is, uh, I told you the field mapping, the data, then uh, comes the product manager. One of the three comes and, yeah, I need a field mapping from end to end. So everything and every time and every name. So, uh, yeah, I think about it and make uh, some of collections, field mapping collections. Um, it's work quite well at the moment on the uh, big, uh, big player at the moment. Um, the one thing is, uh, in, I hate Magento backend <laughs> to do code there. Yeah, right. You you need. I, I get the field mapping is uh, Ajax request to the to get the collection, and uh, Ivan, do you, uh, you please don't answer. 
I need one button, one button. You see on the right, add attribute. Okay. On the le here on the top, I have one button, it's run. The run button, I need five seconds. You have the, uh, on this top, you have the, uh, on this globe, you have the function add button. But how I need 45 minutes <laughs> only to get the button there. <laughs> why? Because it's not the add button function there. I don't know why, but it's, yeah, it's, you know, import, export, and it's magenta backend. So this is why I had this one. So you, you click normally on the add attribute button, you, you get uh, your, your fields. You have uh, some, some lists from your attributes, attribute sets sort. So you can, you can show your one, type in, save, type in, save, type in, save. Because, uh, yeah, you know, t time is money. So put the stuff together. And you can also um, have XML, CSV, value delimiter like PS export. It's uh, the same, same thing. What you not see here is XSLT. Do you know what it means, XSLT? Everyone here? Good. So, um, be thinking about uh, how to get more data or uh, concat field types. So, maybe uh, you need, uh, I, I don't know, price and, and description together. Or uh, description, price, and then sort description in the sort. And we think about it, how to make it, and yeah, our decision was just to make with XSLT when you run this stuff, every field you can uh, give there is a uh, normal text field, text area. You can write your um, XSLT, the translation file, and uh, everything is, uh, yeah, go from PHP to XSLT parser, then goes get back to Magento and write to the, uh, to the data file. So, yeah, the thing is, we are in, with XSLT, you are really, um, yeah, flexible with the data. You can make everything. Uh, right, and not, you don't need to code this in, in Magento. This is a concat stuff. And, yeah, because, yeah, Ivan, uh, I know the rules now, <laughs> conditions. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I make my own condition rules, so you can export, like, sales rule, product rules, whatever, like, shiny product manager can click it, don't speak with me, click. <laughs> click plus, minus, is, and, um, yeah, this is how the export filter works. And at the end, I, uh, normally I have here five or uh, the demo to show you the stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, and the GitHub ID also. So this project is MAP, also MAP when you search on GitHub. Uh, hopefully next week you find this stuff. Um, uh, at the moment it's on Bitbucket project, it's closed. But uh, we, uh, yeah, the idea was to make it open source from the beginning on. So um, yeah, you get the code on the GitHub map, and hopefully, I know it's so many cases to export stuff, not only in, in Germany, so over the world. So uh, if you miss some f functions, so uh, if, you if glad, would be glad when you, you push something, or give, or less, better way when you find bug fixes. Because it's really hard, you, you cannot have so many data. We have, s we have 10 customers that use it, and it's at the moment no problem, but we have no no Polish uh, chars or no Arabic chars, so maybe it's UTF-8 a problem, I don't know. But for Germans, uh, it's, it, it's okay. So um, yeah, please test the code, uh, give a little bit feedback, and when you have time, you have, <laughs> you have time, right? So okay, <laughs> please commit something <laughs> so we can uh, make, uh, yeah, make it a little bit uh, better. So that's all, sorry. Questions? Uh, is it possible to add conditions to uh, field mappings? I mean, sometimes um, we need to map our field, let's say, SKU, to some other field, let's say, bar. And uh, we need the mapping like if our SKU, if our SKU is lower than something, then our full bar should be, let's say, four. And if our SKU is greater than X XSLT, you can make it. Okay. This is this is one solution. You don't need to code. You 
you, you make you can if if then which is greater than use this field or if it's, uh, less than use the other field or whatever. So this is why we put XSLT in, in this game because really flexible you can, yeah, it's only four lines you code. Cool. XSLT, not Magenta code. Cool, thanks. Free? Free like beer, right. <laughs> it's open source. You can make everything with this. Only sending, I think, is uh, OSL. Free like Magento is a license. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you thought about uh, making this export import platform um, multi entity? Multi entity? Multi-entity, like uh, um, I like your idea with XSLT that you can uh, transform uh, some your XML output to another <laughs> XML output. Yeah, it's, it's nice, but um, what if, uh, for instance, you have some orders, right? And you have some ERP system and you want to export it. So having some kind of multi-entity system, oh, it will be really great. For us, yeah. Maybe it's, yeah, you can make a pull request. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea. Thank you, Ivan. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not on the list. Sorry. Uh, so maybe we can hackathon. You know, in Berlin, general. Maybe can we can sit there. Uh, Magento hackathon in Berlin. I uh, forget this uh, the last talk. So uh, Ivan gives the uh, uh, yeah test room development, and after the uh, week uh, in, on this weekend we make also a Magento hackathon. So uh, we we meet together as uh, only developers. So we sit. Uh, Saturday and Sunday together on code in teams, five teams, and make uh, open source projects. And put, uh, yeah, from the community to the community. So everything is open source. We have fun. We have um, food and some drinks, and uh, we have sponsors. So you need normally only paid. I think uh, Fabian Blechmann say uh, 120 euros for the for the hotel room with food included. So uh, for the whole weekend, you come on Friday and have two nights sleep and code with great guys like Vinay, Ivan is hopefully there, and other uh, German de uh, devs, so um, yeah, in teams. And learn, it's, it's like uh, therapy, right? As pair program is out, it's group programming. <laughs> Sorry? No, no, it's really, no, no, the, the last one was uh, only German because only uh, German attendees, but before in Munich was some, um, yeah, from, um, uh, Alistair was there and some from uh, France, so it's English is not really the problem. Also here, you, you speak all English, so what's the problem, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, see you later.